Here we're going to look at time scaling and time shifting. And in particular, we're going to look at it for the sine waveform, sinusoidal waveform. So first of all, I'm going to plot the sine theta function as a function of theta. So here's theta, and of course sine theta is this waveform here, and it keeps going for theta beyond 2 pi, but we'll just draw it up to 2 pi for here. Actually, I'm going to draw it up to 4 pi. Um, and so this is pi, and this is 3 pi. Okay, this is pi on 2, and this is, uh, of course, 3 pi on 2. I'll just label it so that we can use that later. Okay, so this is a function which is a function of theta. I'm now going to make a new function which is a function of time. Now let's pick this one, sine of 2 pi t. Okay, this function has the same shape as the function above, but now we're going to plot it with respect to time. Okay, it's a time-based function, and this is time. So, it has the same shape as the one above. Yeah, so the same shape. But now, of course, it's for different values of t. So what's the value of t here? Of course, this is t equals 0. Uh, here, t equals 1. Uh, this is t equals... So that's 1, because that's 1 times 2 pi gives you 2 pi, and that's what the function is above. Okay, this is, so this is t equals a half, and this is t equals 2. Okay, so this function here is a function of time. It has the same shape as this function, which is a function of theta. So now let's see what happens if we scale time. Okay, so let's make a new function, which is uh, yt. And let's say yt equals sine of 2 pi, and we're going to scale time. So let's make this 2t. So we've replaced the t with 2t. Okay, so this is a new function. It happens to equal wt, uh, sorry, w of 2t. I'll just point that out. So this function here, yt, equals w of 2t. Okay, uh, it equals, we can expand out the brackets, sine of 4 pi t. Okay, let's plot that. Okay, and this is time scaling. We've scaled time because we've multiplied the time by a constant. In this case, we've chosen 2. Uh, but of course, you could do anything. But let's see what happens with 2. Okay, so we're still plotting this with respect to time. So what is sine of 4 pi t? Well, let's pick some values and, and look at them back up here because this is sine of theta, so the thing in the brackets. So let's work out what the thing in the brackets is. We can refer up here and find out what the value is. So for t equals 0, of course, this is sine of 0. That's that point there, of course. When t equals 1, we've got sine of 4 pi. What's sine of 4 pi? It's this value over here. So when t equals 1, that's when t equals 1. Okay, so when t equals 1, we've now got the value of sine 4 pi. And that was that value over here. Okay. So let's pick some other values. Let's pick some more interesting ones uh, also in the middle. Let's say when t equals a half. So here, we want to plot it here at t equals a half. Okay, so t equals a half, we have sine of 2 pi. When we look up, that's that point there. Okay, so we can see that these the top function is now being compressed. Okay, so that point there has now gone to this point here. So all of this waveform that happens in here now happens between here. Okay, so now it goes up, down and up, up, down and up. And of course it continues on uh, like this, and there's the negatives here of course. Okay, so when you scale time like this, it compresses, in this case because we've multiplied the time by a value, it compresses the waveform. And what we can see is that effectively is, if it's a sinusoidal like this is, it gives us a sinusoid at a higher frequency. So this sinusoid changes at that frequency, and this sinusoid happens at this frequency. It's twice the frequency because we multiplied by two. Okay, so the effect, if you want to represent as a waveform at one frequency and relate it to a waveform at another frequency, then you can relate the two by, by um, scaling the time.
Okay, so what about shifting? Let's think about shifting. So let's make another waveform, ZT, and let's make this one equal to uh, W of T minus, or so let's say T plus a quarter. Let's pick that one. Okay, so what is this? Well, that's our W waveform, and now we're replacing the thing in the brackets with T plus a quarter, so WT plus a quarter instead of WT. So wherever there's a T here, we're going to replace it with T plus a quarter. So this equals sine of 2 pi times T plus a quarter. We expand out those brackets and it equals sine of 2 pi T plus pi on 2. Okay, so now let's plot this waveform here. Okay, if we plot this waveform to see what happened, well, we've got, I should have put those axes below each other, but I think you can see that the half is going to be here and the one is going to be here. So at, at t equals uh, one half, let's, well, let's pick t, pick t uh, yeah, pick t equals zero. So at t equals zero, we've got sine of, that's zero, so it'll be sine of pi on two. So what's sine of pi on two? So at t equals zero, that's this point here, we've got sine of pi on two. So we look up the top, sine of pi on two is this value here, it's one. So at time equals zero, we're gonna have a height of one. Okay. Now what about if t equals one, for example? So if t equals one, we've got two pi plus pi on two. So that's five pi on two. Okay, so at t equals one, that's over here, we're going to look up here and see where 5 pi on 2 is. Well, that's here, 5 pi on 2. So that's, again, 1. Okay, so what about if t equals a half, for example? If t equals a half, we've got sine of pi plus pi on 2. So that's pi of 3 pi, uh, sine of 3 pi on 2. Sine of 3 pi on 2 is here. So at a half, we've got this value, which is negative 1. Okay, so we've got this waveform here. Okay, so this one is at, <coughs> is at the same frequency as the original waveform, because in this case we haven't scaled the time, we haven't done time scaling. In this one we've just done time shifting. And what we've got is a waveform, which is the original waveform, I think you can see, shifted, in this case to the left, by pi on 2. Okay, we look up here, it's shifted by pi on 2. Okay, and we're plotting it with respect to time. So in this case, in terms of time, it's shifted by a quarter time, and that makes sense here with the t plus a quarter. Okay, and in this case, this is coming from a peak, you might recognize this, that this actually also is our definition of the cos waveform. Cos of 2 pi t starts at 1 and goes down to negative 1 and then back up to 1 over the same period. Okay, so the sine wave and the cos wave are related to each other by a phase shift. So a time shift of a sinusoidal wave is actually a phase shift. Okay, the whole function has been shifted in time and we think of that and we can look at that and we visually see that that's what we would also describe for a sinusoid, we would also describe as a phase shift because we've moved the phase of this sinusoid.